Hey guys, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And there's um, a series of beacon. Uh, if you uh, Google uh, NCDXF beacon, these are a series of beacon, propagation beacons on the amateur bands that you can actually listen to. There's an app, this is the app for Android, and I believe there's an app for iOS. Uh, the frequencies they transmit on 20 meters, 14100, 17 meters, 18110. 15 meters 21150, 12 meters 24930, and 10 meters 28200. I wish there would be more, uh, even in the uh, 30, 40, and uh, 80, 160 meter band. Anyways, on this app, you see the different beacons as they are being used. So the one that's flashing right now in real time is the one being used. And of course, I'm using this little radio here. I'm going to try. So you just heard this one. So what you are seeing here is that each beacon transmits for uh, roughly like something like 10 seconds. It gives its Morse code identification and then it does three tones, uh, something like one watt, uh, one watt, 100 milliwatts or something. It's two or three different tones at different, um, um, I don't remember the power output of each one. Uh, it's 100 watts, 1 watts, or uh, I don't, something like that. Okay, I'll, I need to check it out a little more. But you could see here that you hear the different stations. So the ones we heard was CS3B, which is, I believe, from out of the uh, Azores. Uh, YV5B from Venezuela was good. Uh, weaker, but OA4B was there. Uh, and so on. And you can actually track them in real time. But your clock needs to be very precise because they follow the clock and the clock is precise to UTC time. And it gives you an idea of how propagation is. So I'm 14099 upper sideband because this does not have CW. If you have a CW enabled receiver, you just use CW mode on 14100, but 14099 upper sideband on any radio. And just have fun looking at the uh, different stations transmitting and you'll notice that as time goes by if you try for example once every hour propagation changes and you'll see that some stations you didn't hear earlier are going to actually come in some stations you um, are hearing will fade out and there'll be a shift and this is really really a nice way to measure propagation uh, in real time with radio signals actually so um, check it out uh, if you are looking for the app, the app is uh, called, and you see it here on the top, NCDXF Beacon. Go to Android. This is the Android version. Like, like I said, the um, th there's, I think, a version for iOS also. And remember that your device needs to be very precise to the clock time in order to be able to match the radio and what you see here on the screen. And if you don't have an app, if you don't have anything, there's a uh, you can go to the website. Um, when you actually Google uh, NCDXF, you'll see that the website also gives you in real time which one is transmitting. So uh, it's kind of cool and gives you an idea. And these are very weak. These are amateur radio beacons, so they're not very strong. But they're a great way to check propagation and check it on all the frequencies that they transmit on because this is also the fun of it. It gives you an idea of propagation everywhere. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and have fun.